So we get up to the target that Bradley maneuvered into position and it was like this tank round just flies out of nowhere. And then you start to hear like tink, 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 and the ramp goes down and we peel out and I ran towards the target building. And as I like clear all the stuff, there's smoke and stuff. And I just get this weird feeling like not everybody's with me. So I kind of like take a knee and I'm like waiting. Nobody's running by me and I'm realizing you hear like snap, snap, snap. And then all of a sudden, like I get the squeeze and it's bark behind me. So we go up to the front door. So I ran up, kicked it open and it propels me past the first two rooms. I'm like on my gun the whole time and I just give the gun upstairs. And as me and Chucky get to the top of the stairs, this machine gun fire just comes in, dude. And it comes in heavy. You could tell it was really close. And all of a sudden you hear man down, like dire man down. And then he goes, we need to form it down here now. So I just, it's like three bounds down the stairs and I get down to the stairwell. As we're coming down, I go to grab Mark and another bunch of machine gun fire comes down through there. So I kind of like duck out of the way and Mark is, dude, he's down. And Nick, our EOD guys, returning fire. I catch Nick's eye. It looked like sheer terror, um, the look that he gave me. So grab Mark and I drug him around that little alcove. Then I just start cutting Mark's gear off. Um, you know, it was pretty apparent that he took one round right through the teeth. I could see the whole left side was, um, was already bruising. You could see it all on his cheek. Um, his face was like white and Mark was tan. I get the gear off and dude, I'm just doing like a quick assessment. And dude, there's nothing, man. I was like, we need a Kazovac now. It's like, all right, it's outside. So I go and I sling Mark up on there and I start carrying him, dude. And it, dude, it's, heavy. You know what I mean?